Alright, right, so ladies and gentlemen, we are back here, and before we get started, let's look at our cards. Eight King Offsuit and the Big Blind, Christy Gaze is, is raising 480 right. and a I'll Big Blind of 160, time. so she has, um, let's see, she is raising about four, about three times no, the, uh, the Big Blind, Why so, and Jennifer Tilly's gonna call, David Uli will probably call, Phil Lockle, bro, okay. Well, we might get one other caller here is my my guess, and I'm I'm gonna let the women battle it out, and I'm actually going to go over the. Going to the uh, can I go over this? Let's see where where would that be. Maybe Nine, there we five, go. Poker eight. hand rankings, wonderful. Okay, for those of you who might not know a whole lot of poker, here we go. We've got a high card. So basically, Texas Hold'em poker is what we're gonna ma basically be playing in the rest of this tournament. When we get to the next tournament, it's gonna be a little hard for you to understand, but I'm gonna play it as much as I can and try to give as much as I can. Um, all right, so here we go. High card, high card 10. So that is, out of those five cards, there's no flushes, which means the same suit. There's no rate, uh, straights, which means four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and it, so it's just a high card. His high card is the 10. Uh, a pair beats a high card, that's any two pair. Uh, two pair beats a pair, diamonds. obviously. Three of a kind it's beats a two seven, pair. Straight beats a three of a kind. Flush beats straight. Full house, which is um, a three of a kind and a two pair in one hand. That beats the flush, the straight, the three of a kind, the two pair, all of that stuff. Four of a kind beats the full house, the flush. Straight flush is kind of like a baby full house, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a straight and a flush, so it's a straight flush. But a royal flush is the most rare thing in in all of poker and it is the thing that you want to get legitimately uh it's 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 really exhilarating when it happens uh 10 jack queen king ace all of those are uh your royals and if you get them all the same suit with your texas hold'em cards that's basically what happens uh, another basic thing is texas hold'em you get two cards and the other five that happen on the middle, those are called the community cards, and everybody shares those. So you're basically playing your two hidden cards against their two hidden cards with the information of the, th the five that'll show up. And you each bet in rounds. So that's basically Whoa. it. Um, another thing that I really liked is going through each hand and, and watching it and judging it. And here's the uh, and trying to guess what they had. I, I did fairly well, so I didn't Ten, really embarrass six, myself queen. in the first two episodes, and we did really good. We're the chip leader at this table right now uh, by a long shot. Jennifer Tilly right behind us with 5,100, so we're looking to be good here. And uh, let's see, see we were now. at... Dealer Whoops, I'm sorry about street. that. My mistake. Here we go. 26 players hearts. left in this tournament. All right, so we've got a six. I'm, I haven't seen... The first, uh, the before the flop bets, so I'm not gonna guess any of these hands. They're all checking, so I'm guessing, I'm guessing Checks they missed, or they all have the same queen. End of the road. They all have some cards that don't make any sense. Check. They're all checking it down all the way to the end here. This is crazy. Someone steal it. There you all go, right. pescatory. Pescatory. Take these people for their money. Fold, fold, Pescatori takes Norman. it down without even having to show his two hands. Hand. Two cards, sorry. A lot of the poker lingo you're going to have to uh, just learn. Um, it it just kind of comes with the experience. So we have Ace-3 suited. It's a baby Ace, yes, but we do have an opportunity for a straight flush, which beats practically almost everything else, unless they have a straight, uh, I mean a royal flush. So Joe Hashem right after the big blind raises that's kind of scary it's not usually a position you would raise unless you have something good we're gonna just uh we're just gonna call him here we're gonna try to dig for information from joe hashem he is a former that's world series of poker champion which means he entered into a tournament uh, let's see in his time probably about what would be four thousand or so see it's about six thousand now after the poker boom it was two thousand five greg raymer Joe Hashim, I would say probably about 8,000 people or so in his tournament. And he beat them all out. All right, so here we go. Let's look at this. Ace, three. He checks. He was the raiser, and he checked. Um, we have three, four, five. Nothing really conclusive yet, 
and he might have a seven five or four which beats both of our cards so we're Next going to uh, we're just gonna check and we're gonna see what he's got the here we might bet this ten if he checks again okay so he did check again now this is what's called a bluff this is where it's like I'm lying but I'm going to try to steal a win here. 480 into a 1,200 pot. That's only a third. It's not a very strong bet, but we're trying to make him feel like we have something. Joe Hashem folds it immediately, and we get some easy money. That could have been a deadly card if we would have let him see that, so bluffing was a good thing to do there. 710 off. We are no... Well, we're right behind the blind, but Humberto's going all in. Pescatori raises... Uh, I don't want to be involved in this at all, so we're gonna we're gonna fold it down. And Pescatori folds, so Humberto goes all in and picks up 600 plus the blinds for just going all in. He didn't even have to do anything. Eight kings suited. Okay, um, in this position, this is not a good hand. Uh, but if I were in the dealer position or defending my blinds, I probably would play for it. And especially if there were less people in the uh, less people in the game, but right now this is not a good hand. What is this? Like like one thirty something, thirty six. Yeah, okay, so it's pretty high. Wow. Um, but I'm I'm not playing that. No. There's too many outlying factors. Humberto's raising. He might pop me up all in, and if I lose, I'm down to what sixty five hundred or so, and he's up to five grand. So I don't want to be doing that. Humberto wins again by going all in or raising that time. All right, what we got here? Nine queen offsuit. Not gonna be playing that. So let's fold it. Let's quickly go through all of these. Christy gazes raises. Joe Hashem goes all in. Christy gazes folds. So it was maybe a thing of she was trying to just raise to have everybody else fold. But when Joe Hashem went all in, her cards weren't up to snuff, and she had a lower chip stack than he did, and was a little worried that. that she might get taken out. So she folded. All right, Phil Locke raising 400 here. Only double the big blind. He's definitely going to get a caller. Question is, is he going to go all in? Humberto goes all in, and Phil Locke folds. So look at that, Humberto getting a chip stack here with not even having to do anything. All right, so we have fish hooks here, and that's what uh, the common uh, nickname is for Jax. We're going to raise it up three times the big blind. And uh, we're going to see how many, and this is great, this is a good position for a card like, a uh, pair of cards like this, because they know that I've got something, time, they know that I have something good, so if any of them call, they have to have something at least marginally good or better than what I've got, so we're going to have to play a little carefully here with these jacks. Jennifer Tilly, what is she thinking? I don't, I'm scared of her, please don't call. She raises, she re-raises me. If, okay, so it's just me and Jennifer Tilly. It's only a thousand to call, and I kind of want information on what she's got. I've already got a pair of jacks right now. My hand is the sixth best hand I can't even out of 169, so I'm going to call it, but we're going to be very and cautious here. I'm block. scared of Jennifer Tilly. She's got the next biggest chip stack. All right, three, three low cards, seven, my top four. pair. Hopefully someone's is looking up really good right now, block. unless she has queens, Otherwise, kings, races. I've got the fourth hand. best hand, is it? Eleventh. Why would that be? Oh, okay, if she has pocket sevens, pocket threes. Okay, I see that. And and she could have a seven high straight as well. Any combo of those. So that makes sense. Um, she checks, and you never check to the razor. But in this situation, I, I kind of want to see what she's got. What? Why is she raising me so much? I'm going to bet two-thirds... Uh, of the pot and pretty much two-thirds of her stack. Let's see how far she's willing to go. Started. I'm the chip leader. I'm gonna bully here. If I if she pops me, I'll probably fold it, but she folds. Know. Okay, so she probably had ace-king and she around. lost Give it the there. That's the not a very rookie. good flop for two high cards like that. Interesting that she re-raised me. I'm, I'm really curious to see what she had. Too bad, though, this is not the World Series of Poker. I don't get that luxury of going back and watching the film. So much for that. So we are up to 10 grand. I would like to see who the other That's people it. who are up She's to 10. Oh, we can play blackjack, in. too, if you want. But 
I don't feel like teaching you blackjack. Um, I want to look at the the leaders real quick. Turney leaders. Let's see where we're at here. We are second in command behind Lenville Turner, one of the rookies, one of the few rookies left in this tournament. I am out. Jennifer Harmon all yeah, in. She yeah. must have something pretty good if she's that far out. The rule for going all point. in uh, automatically He's is if you're a low chip stack. Uh, right now the big blind is 200. So eight. Jennifer Harmon Lawsuit. had about 1,200. So that's about now. six big blinds, isn't it? Six times two is 12, so... Jack, Jack two, two seven, seven. right? Moving to the what is that? Seven. Jack two seven. So he's got double the sixes diamonds, there. They're looking good unless an ace or an eight come up. Watch your great hand laid the waste by or a nine. Jennifer Harmon still has a chance to escape. Ace Northern. eight or nine will, will get no bring Phil Locke to his block. knees, and it's another ten. Phil Locke doubles up. Locke Jennifer Harmon is barely surviving with three hundred and fifty-five oh. chips left. Jack three. We're in the big blind. All right. So let's see here. Now, she has just went all in. If everybody else folds, the pot odds right. are in my favor. I'm, I'm only going to lose, what, uh, 355? And it would have it would have been 200 already, so basically only 155. Jennifer Tilly calls, so that's dance. not good. Maybe I'll just let Jennifer Tilly take Jennifer Armin out. Yeah, Phil locks in as well. There's I'll fold. fold. I was going to say, if they all fold, way. sure, I'll call. I've and got plenty now. of money to burn. Jack three, I might just get lucky here. All right, so now it goes to the main pot. So the only the only pretty amount of money that uh, Jennifer Armin could win was like about twelve hundred or so. But now that's all that's going to be in the pot. Jennifer Tilly will bring back her three grand. She's got Ace Jack, ten nine suited. So a heart, a heart for Jennifer Harmon. Not gonna happen. Jennifer Harmon is booted hey, out for me of up, this kid. tournament. Sometimes you put your fate in the um, hands of the dealer. And if mind. Jennifer Harmon were to have won, uh, even though Jennifer Tilly put in three thousand, Jennifer Harmon can only double up if she's all in. Um, if there were two other people in the hand that called, she could triple up. Does that make sense to you, people? I hope so. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Hopefully, there's a better way to explain that in the future. Pescatory raises Phil Lock. Push is all in. Pescatori has the jump on him, but he's gonna fold, and Phil Locke's gonna chip hey, if up. You keep this up. Drinks are on me. Funny story: Phil Locke and Jennifer Tilly are actually married. They are a couple, so uh, interesting to see them at the same Thank table. All right, we're gonna raise because we have we're we're on the dealer button here. We have ten thousand. The most we could lose is t is twenty five percent of our stack to hash them, um, unless Christy Gaze is in as well. But I doubt that. We're gonna raise three times the big blind, and we're gonna see if we can push both of them out and pick up an easy three hundred chips plus ante if there is one. Let's see. I uh, no ante yet. Okay, so yeah, see, we pick up an easy uh, three hundred chips there by pushing so those low, lower stacks out. All right, pocket four is a baby pair here. Work, and Jennifer Tilly is raising. It's worth a call. That's now I'm folding in. automatically. Jennifer Tilly is raised. David Uliot re raises. We've still got three people after me to decide what they're going to do. Too much of a cluster F. I'm my stack <laughs> I don't want to really hand. swear, but too much I of a cluster fold. F bomb. Uh, for me, I'm folding. So here we go. Oh. It's going to be Jennifer Tilly versus David Devilfish Uliot. And she folds. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Box, How yeah. do you raise and then fold like that? All right, king queen suited. Hand. So, you know what? Maybe it was a blessing in the sty disguise. Fold. Maybe Uliot had a higher pair. Ace king. Who We're knows? Not gonna do it. We're going to raise here. The blinds have been raised from uh, 100, 200 to 120, 240. So now everybody within the range of 2400 or lower should be going all in automatically with uh, basically any two high cards. Or okay, else they're just going to be now blinded out is the term. And that's basically and when you we'll to get to block. a point where you have so little chip stack that even if you did win a hand, it Six, wouldn't be for seven. Uh, Jack, in an important amount anyway. All right, so three anything. low cards here for us. Very We've got two over cards. Umberto's pushing us back. all in. I'm folding this guy I have no information on yet. He hasn't showed his cards I to me yet. And he's just been winning like a beast. So I'm not getting involved in that. We're going to fold this. 
We're gonna move right along. Phil Lock winning that. And he picks up an easy Two pot. Jack. Phil Lock raising again. A6 off. Tank. He raised with A6 off. Hmm. Interesting, Phil Lock. Thank you for that information. Well, with a flop like Raise that, with a baby ace. First bet who take Jack and nine. We would have, have had a pair of nines. A uh, we would have a straight draw. But there's still four people in this hand. They're all this checking. Way? That's a dead card. Not going to do anything. Jennifer Tilly taking it down. Or anything, but that was pretty good. I mean, Basically, that, that dead card good? means that it's good. it's a low. It's so okay. far away from the other cards that it's not going to make a difference in the hand. Uh, it was a different suit, Four. so it's not going to make anyone's flush. It's not going to make anyone straight. So typically, it would just be the same. Everybody would have checked it down, but Jennifer Tilly decided to steal it. All right, we got six eight suited, and Phil Lock has raised me on the big blind. I'm going to defend my big blind, and I'm going to see if I can like steal one away from Lock by getting lucky here. 6-8 suited, so it's pretty much connector cards. Alright, so we did not Ace, get a very King, good... Uh, we Yeah, we don't have a very good hand here. He raises, I'm out. He Check. checked, I'm checking. You never raise the into turn. the razor. The Alright, there's a 9. And now he Is raises 720. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe Let's he was ba uh, baiting me in the when the uh, flop came out. And Okay, so that's another thing, the flop. So the first three cards are called the flop. The, s the fourth card is called the turn, and the fifth card is called the river. So there you guys go. That's more terminology for you. So when I say the flop, I mean the first three cards Let's when they were laid out after uh, that hand. He checked. And, uh, you know, it could have been because he was trying to make me raise first to think I have the better hand. Or it was just because he didn't have anything. Either way, I'm going to play it safe here. Phil Lock raising again. I'm folding. Let's see if he can knock Christy Gazes out. Aggression once again. And this is what I mean. Christy Gazes is getting chipped out here. Uh, blinded out here because she's just not getting involved in these hands and the blinds are taking money away from her every time they come around Twenty five people left in this tournament. I told you I'm good Three queen off. All right. I'm not getting involved in that. He tosses them in. We will skip ahead Christy Gaze well, is all no in, 9-7 offsuit. We'll wow, okay, that's not and a great two we'll go to the flop. Uh, sets of cards, but Queen-10 suited is. 9-7 doesn't hit, Queen-10 is looking good card. so far. There's the queen a Queen. That's a There's nothing Christy Gaze Norman. can do. She will be knocked out of this tournament, Devilfish. Got no Winning some chips, Christy Gaze is out in 25th. Alright, 4-10 off, I'm not getting involved. We are down to seven-handed when another person goes out. That is where I will end this video. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be, but it'll also bring us down to six-handed play, which is where I'll play a little bit more and uh, be a little looser now that there is Everybody less people at the table to uh, foil my evil plans. The rookie so who's it going to be? Like. Is it going to be Pescatory? Maybe. Here we go. Ace King five, all different suits, so I would call that a rainbow flop, because they're all different suits. Jennifer Tilly oh. now going all in. No. Phil Lock folding. Tilly Let's looking to take him out. out. Ace eight to the six turn. four suited. He needs runner runner the hearts. Not going to happen. There's a queen so and that's it. it. There we go. Pescatory I'm ace high though. loses to Jennifer Tilly's pair of aces. This there you go. Max, game, Max Pescatory leaves the game in twenty fourth. And that will end this video, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's let's Not see here. Five A suit. Okay, so I'm gonna fold this and I'm gonna set the going next the video up. Now. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Again, if you have any questions about anything I said Queen, or anything I did, two, Jack, uh, leave them in the I'll comments box the below. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed yourself and if you learned something. And uh, I, I I'm really excited that this series has taken off the way it has. I mean, you think only 30 views isn't that much, but to me and my channel. It's, it's one of the better series I've ever had. So thank you for the huge support. And uh, we'll, we'll see you next. We're going to play some six-handed play here in the next episode. Derek D. Ginger King checking out.